My dear friend, old buddy, Mr. Mick Fleetwood. Well, wow, Mick, where did you, did you buy all these paintings? Did people give them to you? Or no, is... this is actually a part of a, a continuum of, originally it was a gallery, and then about a year ago, uh, this gallery here is a sort of annex part, which is the Morrison Hotel Gallery, and they specialize in rock and roll Man. photography, as you can see. It's a real and deal. Just, yeah, it is the real deal. It's sort I mean... of quite daunting. In a way, um, it kind of it kind of weakened me when I walked in because you know I'm walk I'm Sammy Hagar you know I felt like I was up for this thing and I walk in here and see all these legends I'm going. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> see, I, I get to put like I'm my own worthy. band on the wall. <laughs> I'm not worthy to be That's here, but true. I am here, and you I want to interview Mick. So but let's get right to it. To me. Uh, being near and dear to my heart, uh, yeah. how do you enjoy having your own restaurant and music hall? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy in terms of I'm a player, you're a player, singer. We, we know where that energy comes from. So yes, this is a restaurant and in your own world you have a similar ingredient, you know, with your own place. Uh, so it, it's always uh, a foil to fulfill that part of you which never stops, which is it wouldn't be that it's talking to your wife. It's like going like, well, it's not that long before he's going to be back on some stage somewhere. Yeah. So this is part of that. Uh, we run a great restaurant. We have the gallery and so forth. But selfishly, it's a place, uh, as we're going to be getting into a little later, where I can grab you and we can uh, do what we love to do, which is to yeah, play exactly. and be around music. It's very, very special, very spiritual. Very but special. speaking of going on tour, so how, I mean, uh, at your age, like you said, you're working harder than ever, and I'm not criticizing you because I'm as stupid as you. I think I'll you. come up with a new title <laughs> for the show. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. He's not either. But um, it's for you to go out with Fleetwood Mac and do you, how long did you do that last tour? It was a It was year? about 18 months. 18 months. On and off. Yeah, and then you turn around and you go out with the Mick Fleetwood Blues Band. I went straight back down to Australia oh. at the Blues Fest <laughs> about four months, no, less than four months <laughs> afterwards and, and did Australia and New Zealand and I just recently did, in fact, I, I was in communication with you from the back right. of the bus and that was a comedic uh, moment in itself. <laughs> with, uh, um, I love to play and as you know, Fleetwood Mac is a, was a blues band with Peter Green Absolutely. back in the day, 1967. Uh, so any time I get a chance to do that, within reason, uh, I go out with, with uh, the blues band. With elements of that uh, of the players are playing with the band tonight. Uh, and what do, what do you get from the Mick Fleetwood Blues Band that you don't get from Fleetwood Mac? Or I mean, I know it's not a financial a bus thing. Trip. No. Well, you could say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do you have some kind of musical expression freedom, or you I just do. like to go back to your roots of playing no, the blues? No, I, I get more freedom. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a rock and roll drummer, and to whatever avail that is, my my home and my my training ground boot camp was was playing. Blues and rock and roll. Raised uh, on, not on that early Fleetwood Mac. Mac isn't a rock and roll band, but but it, it's a lot more uh, uh, conformed to certain disciplines. Here, if if I want to get up off the drum kit and walk forward and tell a shaggy dog story, I'm able to do that. And as a, as a player, there is more freedom for me. I'm really impressed. I mean, it's like they obviously love what you're doing. When I hear you play drums, I know you love what you're doing. And love I'm it. Fleetwood Mac, of course, got to talk about Fleetwood Mac. And um, there's so many incarnations. You, do you feel like the luckiest man in the world to have been, had so many shots at it yeah. and, and had disastrous things happen and come Many, back yes. and come back. I get goosebumps on my arm. Look at this. I'm it, not jiving you. Thinking it, about how wonderful that is. It's just you. I mean, it's just it, God is just if you shining read, on if you. If you man. read a manual or a blueprint, you would say this is actually not possible and it's all lies. It could not have happened. <laughs> it could not have happened like that. And if it did, the people, the players in the play wouldn't have survived. And yeah. and somehow the band ha has survived really against hopeless odds mostly in truth created by ourselves in a, you know and they've all been highly emotionally charged point taken and we have survived and, and happily all five of us of that incarnation the, the band that we're talking about with Stevie and Lindsay and John and Chris and, and myself 
were, were intact and uh, planning uh, a tour about a year from now where will be another two-year stint. Unbelievable. You, did you ever dream it? I mean, is it beyond your dreams? Correct. It's it has totally to be. beyond. And I am incredibly thankful right that I've, I've lived out my dream. I have no, if it all stopped tomorrow, and seemingly it won't, uh, I have no complaints. You know, I've done what I dreamt of doing, which is far and few between do people get that uh, bestowed on them. So I'm, I'm a happy... i got to say, Mick, it's like I've known you for quite a while. I don't know, not yeah. that long, but uh, as soon as I got to meet you, the first thing I was so impressed with is that you're sane. It's like the man is sane. After having a band fooled. named after him, you know, being the namesake of a band is, is enough pressure to put anybody in the hospital. Well, you might have noticed. A little, uh... Are you the leader of the band? I've... Fleetwood have, Mac. Is Mick Fleetwood the leader of that band, do you think? I think I'm, I'm the, the dude that never gave up. So in that context, I'm, I'm trying not to be I, me, mine about it. But th that has been my function. You know, I haven't been the songwriter in this band, but my song would be, I would equate it to saying, my song has been that I, I haven't given up on something uh, that I love so much. So in a way... It, from that respect, it, it's the leader of, of the cheer, cheering cheerleader that never, never gave it up. And I'll leave it at that. Okay, I have my little thing here that I like to do with people, so I don't want you to be, if you don't like this, Mick, if, start it, sweating you don't have, leave, right? yeah, if you don't have, <laughs> if you don't want to commit, <clears throat> so you don't have to, but to me, this says a lot about a person. Okay. When I say, you know, it's like left or right, yin or yang, black or white, you know, right? So it's like, uh, oh. so okay. be so Beatles I'll or try. Stones? Stones. Percussion or melody? Melody. That's surprising. Porsche or Ferrari? Porsche. Mm. Tequila or rum? Rum. It's British. <laughs> Lindsay or Peter? Both. Ah, I knew it. I knew you couldn't do it. <laughs> I knew you couldn't. So, Mick, why don't you show me around your place? I want to see some of my memorabilia. Yeah. I want to, you know, like, get feel the soul of this place, and then we'll get up there and play some music and jam and stuff, right? Mm. Bam. Hey, we'll be right back with some of that. And this is an Austin 7, which was our, uh, our sort of Model T Ford in England. And this is your car? This, this was <laughs> my, second, my, my second car uh, in London. I used to go to my gigs in it. <laughs> and I, 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 it's called well, Lettuce Leaf. because Obviously, you know, though, you had this seat was out, and you sat here to drive it, no, correct? No, I'm telling Those you. Those big, long legs yeah. are not... Look oh, no, Mick, don't do it. No, Mick, don't do it. We'll never get you out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we just lost Mick. Ah, uh, show's over. There it is. Now he's stuck in the car. <laughs> It's like Unbelievable. Yeah. This is really cool. It's really classy. And it's got, got some yeah. local artists we, we feature, uh, which has been a real thrill. Some these, of my pictures some up of your here. Drums. Did you take the long, these pictures? Yeah, the long and winding road and all that. This is in Hana. Uh, so a lot of Hawaiian and English landscapes and stuff. So I had fun. I'm actually going to end up putting some more stuff of personal things, and that's how the car got in here. And people yeah. love it. Should we go upstairs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this was our restaurant. But today it's uh, the scene of the crime. So this is where you normally serve food. Yeah, and, and on the roof. Upstairs we've got uh, the handcrafted cocktails, we've got culinary excellence, uh, casual elegant atmosphere. Down here in the gallery and in the store, it's. It was created a year after the, the restaurant opened because people wanted to take a little bit of something home. Morrison Hotel Gallery, uh, this, the first gallery opened up 15 years ago in New York City. It's all fine art music photography. A lot of people call it rocker photography, but there's all different genres of music spanning 40 years. Very iconic images. The music and memories is incredibly strong. People come into our gallery and, and they see these images on the wall and, and just like yesterday, it's real again. And it gets emotional. And it's wonderful to be able to pair that together. Come on, everybody, put your hands together for the house shakers over here.
Mr. Mick Fleetwood over there. And the Beach Bar Rum Man over here. It's a time to hang on, people. Come on. Oh, Mr. Whitaker. It's an honor. So we got to be honest with y'all. We just rehearsed all of these songs within the last 20 minutes before y'all came in. So, you know, we expect a standing ovation after every two. <laughs>
Give it up!